Hello, how to find all the root in this cubic equation s to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, we have s to the power of 3. Let's take this 8 to this side. is equal to 8. x to the power of 3 is equal to 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. Then we can see that the exponent is equal. Therefore, s is equal to 2. Is s equal to 2 the only solution? No. We have other solutions which are going to be complex solution. Now let's solve for the other solution. We know that s to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. s to the power of 3 minus 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Then if you have a raised to power 3, minus b raised to power 3. This is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And from this equation, a equal to s, b is equal to 2. Then s to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to s minus 2 bracket s square plus 2 multiplied by s plus 2 square is equal to 0. Then this is s minus 2 bracket s square plus 2 times s 2x plus 2 square that is 4 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is s minus 2 equal to 0 and the second case is s square plus 2s plus 4 equal to 0. And from the first case here s is equal to 2. Let's call this S1. Then, from the second case here, this is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. We have X is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. And from this equation, A equal to 1, B equal to 2, C equal to 4. S is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 4 over 2 multiplied by 1. S is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square, that is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 4, that is 16, divided by 2 times 1, 2. S is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16, that is minus 12 over 2 then s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of six, two, minus 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 everything over 2 S is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of 4 is 2. Then root of minus 1 is i. Then root 3. Everything over 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 1, 2 here 1. S is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i 
root 3. Therefore, S2 is equal to minus 1 plus I root 3 and then S3 is equal to minus 1 minus I root 3 and we know that X1 is equal to 2. So this is the real solution and we have other two complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.